Yo, <clears throat> it's Ross, and uh, I want to do a video for you guys today. Something I feel is very important. Otherwise, I wouldn't make it uh, make a video about it. But um, I want to talk to you guys about the after effects or the after the parts after you graft. So you got um, videos that I've done before in the past where I've shown you guys the step-by-step -step process of just how to graft. Uh, and then I've shown you guys at the end of the season kind of what my trees look like and how it's so beneficial in my mind um, to be grafting, especially something like figs and how powerful that is. Um, but I haven't shown you guys anything in between. And the in-between parts uh, I think are quite important, especially this part. Uh, what I'm about to show you right now is really going to uh, increase your chances of success and answer a lot of your questions that you may have uh, about this particular part of the grafting process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of my trees, um, not on camera, but I will go through all of my trees today. I've gone through all of my trees yesterday. I went through all of my trees the day before, uh, even the day before that. Uh, what I like to do is do rounds on each of my trees see how the graft is doing um, it's kind of important and I don't do this but I do have it in my head I guess as to when I put the graft on so how long ago the graft was put on um, and then I like to keep track of in my mind when the graft has kind of taken and I realistically you should be writing all this stuff down um, so that will give you some kind of an idea of if things are going smoothly or not so um, let's go through all my trees real quick with you guys I'm gonna give you guys a few examples of what I'm doing right now to ensure a higher success all right so let's get started here turn you guys around so these are all the trees that I have grafted I selected 50 rootstock we have some over here that uh, have not been grafted yet and then even over here, there's some of these that have been grafted. Um, most of the ones with leaves that you see in here, those are trees that have not been grafted, but leafed out early in the greenhouse and already have fruit on them. So um, yeah, we come down here, I guess, to the first example, the first plant. Um, I like to just go through the, the plants and the first thing I look at is to see if the graft has taken. On this particular tree, it was grafted about a week ago. Uh, it has not taken. Both grafts have not taken. So a little, still a little too early, but we did get the warmer temperatures that came in. Um, this week has been in the 90s. Yesterday was in the 90s. Today will be in the 90s. Uh, the day before that was in the 80s, and I think the day before that was in the 80s as well. So we've had a whole week of 80 degree and 90 degree weather. And what that's done is really increase the sap flow and the metabolisms of these plants and now you'll see that right in here the tree is now putting out these buds even more so what i graft is that i like to cut say i made the cut right here everything below this was um well if it was actively growing i had pinched it off so now that this is actively growing down here because we've had such high um high temperatures i'm going to just pinch that off with my thumb now that's gone excuse the, um, the motorcycle but essentially what I'm doing here by doing that is making sure that most of the sap most of the energy is going to the highest point here which is the graft so this is very important if you want your grafts to take because if this were to have grown out at a pretty decent length um, this would then be stealing all of the nutrients from this and all of the energy from this and the graft would never take so um yeah kind of important um s there's also braba on this tree forming this is a horrible idea to keep the braba on here so i'm going to take that off um so that's kind of what i'm doing is i'm going around to each tree and this is one of my goals one of my objectives here there's one back here and yeah so that's that's goal number one um next tree same thing, if there's anything on here, I'm just gonna break it off, give it a little turn here. There's one right here. 
and that's it. Move on to the next one. Um, this tree here, this one has two graphs that have taken so far, one here and one here. Uh, looks like the other two are on their way to taking. This one I had grafted about two weeks ago. You can see if I get really close and the camera focuses for me, um, you'll see that the bud here is kind of breaking through this parafilm. Um, which is not really good and it's also breaking through the parafilm in other places. It's just breaking. So we have a problem here where this scion could potentially dry out. Uh, you know, it's important that the bud can break through the parafilm if, it, if the graft has in fact taken. You know, just like these two. I mean, but look how much more that bud has swelled than the previous bud that I had showed you. Same thing over here. Buds really have swelled. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually come in here with parafilm I have down here on the ground. Um, and we're going to wrap this and where, where it has been broken just to ensure that this scion doesn't dry out in any part of it. You know, it's very important that we have this thing tightly wrapped with parafilm. We don't want too much parafilm. Um, you know, that may prevent the bud actually from coming out, but, uh, that's something I want to do is preserve this scion for as long as possible to give these buds a chance to to leaf out. And again, you know, I'm checking on here to see if there's any buds that I need to uh, knock off that are currently leafing out. I guess there's one right here, not a huge deal. I find that the the smaller the bud is when you knock it off, the better, the better off you are. So, um, this tree is quickly on its way to having four new varieties on it. Um, but I do want to say one point is that this tree, like I just showed you, has two varieties that are budding out. The, the, the buds are swelling. It looks like from my eye, the grafts have taken. And from most eyes, the grafts have taken. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean the graft has taken. And this is kind of a big part of this video why I wanted to make it was that sometimes the bud will swell for many reasons uh, not because the graft is taken for odd reasons um, some I can't really prove but my idea is that the parafilm actually provides some humidity to help the bud pop out we also have you know an increase in temperatures because it was in the fridge for you know four months so coming out of the fridge and then coming into these warm temperatures having a higher amount of humidity you know these buds can swell for any number of reasons is trying to is what I'm trying to get at here so to consider this graft a success would be a mistake a hundred percent so what I'm um, advising you guys to do is that when this bud swells like this and this is kind of what I'm going back to a previous point I made when the bud is swelling like that, uh, keep track of that date in your mind or write it down, preferably. And then that way you know how long it's gonna be before that bud swells until it actually forms a stem and starts putting out significant leaves. Once that stem really gets some growth, really gets some leaves to it, that you can, can, call, you can call a success. Um, but before that point, um, I've seen scions that leafed out, put out a couple leaves, put out really thin, small growth, and didn't do anything else. They just did that, and that was it. And they did that for like a whole month. And here I am thinking, the graft took, and then a month went by, and I realized that this thing isn't gonna grow. Actually, the graft probably never took, and or something happened to it, and um, I failed. And then a month went by and I wasted that entire month when I could have been um, putting on a new graft, preferably only two weeks into the graft. Uh, that's what I really recommend and what I want to tell you guys is that if there's a, if, you know, the reason why I'm keeping track of when these grafts have taken is because if enough time goes by, like two or three weeks, and there's nothing happening with this graft. There's absolutely no activity. The bud doesn't look like it's coming out. It's just sitting there doing nothing. 
I would start to wonder after two weeks if the graft had even taken to begin with. Um, and then I may actually take it off and redo the graft and try to get better contact uh, for the next time. So um, that's my big tip for that. And then again, if the bud swells and then it doesn't do anything, the bud's just swelling there, sitting there, and you think it's taken, think again and you know, if two weeks go by after that and nothing has happened to that bud, it just had swelled, then the graft probably didn't take and you're gonna have to redo the graft. So uh, really, it's gonna come with experience and just knowing each individual, tr individual tree, each individual graft that you did, knowing kind of if you did anything different with a particular graft, you know, you're gonna need to know this kind of thing. And the only way you're gonna know is if you do these rounds every single day for your trees that you grafted okay so that's the big message of this video um and that's kind of it guys uh we just want to make sure that when did the we want to keep track of when the graft has um was put on when the graft we think has taken um, we want to add any parafilm if we think the scion is going to dry out we want to remove any buds below the graft union. And um, yeah, that's kind of it, guys. Um, and then I guess I'll just leave you guys with a couple shots, a couple uh, varieties that have taken um, in my mind, or at least have swelled. And so you get some kind of an idea of what your trees or your grafts should look like only two weeks, um, one to two weeks later after you put the graft on. So. Here's a graft right here that's budding out. Here's another. Here's another right here. This guy looks like he's swelling the tip here. This guy has taken. So is this. Interestingly enough, there's a bud right below the graft. So that needs to come off. This bud looks like it's probably swelling. I know that's tough to see for you guys. <clears throat> I would say at this point, Maybe about 40% of my grafts have taken. Or have a bud swelling, I should say. So the bud is swelling. In this scenario here, this is a Brava that's coming out. And I'm just gonna knock that off. Because Bravas are not good. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, definitely a lot of lessons to be learned here. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you guys for the next one, all right? Take care.